The Mi-24, Western reporting name Hind, is one of the most widely known assault helicopter gunships in the world. Development of a new helicopter commenced in the Soviet Union 1968. It was developed from the tried and tested Mi-8 transport helicopter and was first flown in V-24 prototype form in 1969. Production of the Mi-24 commenced in 1971 and ceased in 1991. Over two 650 Heinz of AL variants were produced, including Mi-24 and Mi-35. These gun SIPs remain in widespread service with at least 50 air arms. It is estimated that by 2022 around 900 of Mi-24 and Mi-35 Sirius helicopters remain in service. The Russian army being the most significant operator with around 700 helicopters. Though actual numbers of operational helicopters are unclear due to the Russian losses in Ukraine. Other major operators include Algeria, Angola, Belarus, Czech Republic, Hungary, India, Kazakhstan, Libya and Poland. The Mi-24 has seen widespread combat action, fighting in Afghanistan, Chad, Angola, Sri Lanka, Chechnya, Ukraine, and in other hotspots. The Mi-24 is certainly one of the most capable attack helicopters. It is fast, agile heavily armed and armored. It can be used for close air support, anti-tank operations, assault transport or aerial combat. Initial production version was the Mi-24A. It was rushed in production. This version had a large glass cockpit. Production began in 1971. So it took only three years to develop and launch production of the new assault helicopter. Production of the Mi-24A ceased in 1973. Nearly 250 of these helicopters were built. The Mi-24B was an interim variant with some improvements. It was trialed in 1971 to 1972, but never reached production. The definitive production variant was the Mi-24D, Western reporting name Hein D. Produced since 1973 to 1977. Over 600 of these helicopters were built. It was the most numerous version of the Mi-24. Its export version was the Mi-25. This version introduced heavily armored, stepped cockpits and an undernose gun turret. The cockpit is protected by ballistic-resistant windscreens and titanium armored tub. Vital components of the helicopter are also armored. These are bullet-resistant to up to 12.7 mm heavy machine gun fire. Even its rotor blades are made of titanium. This gunship has a crew of three, including pilot, gunner and flight engineer. It can also carry up to eight fully equipped troops, or 12 partially equipped soldiers. So this gunship has a significant transport capability. Due to this feature it is typically used in different manner than other attack helicopters. It can be used for tactical airmobile operations. For example the Mi-24 can soften enemy defenses or suppress enemy fire before landing its troops. Once the troops are on the ground this gunship can support them with its weapons. These helicopters can land their troops behind enemy lines, quickly capturing key objectives. It can be also used to neutralize enemy artillery, anti-tank systems, armored vehicles, tanks, and so on. This helicopter is capable of a mixed armament loadout. Early versions of the Hind gunship carried 9M17P Scorpion, Western reporting name at 2 or Swatter, anti-tank guided missiles. However it is not a dedicated anti-tank helicopter but rather a ground support helicopter. The Mi-24 is extremely fast. In 1976 a version of this helicopter set an official world speed record of 368 km per hour. No other helicopter could beat this record until 1986. From 1976 to 1978, the Mi-24D was joined in service by the up-engine Mi-24V, Western reporting name Hind E and export designation Mi-35 which also featured improved armament of tube-launched 9M114 anti-tank guided missiles of the new Sturm V system, Western reporting name at 6 or Spiral. 
Combat experience in Afghanistan led to the development of the Mi-24P, Western reporting name Hindaf, with a 30mm GSH 30K twin-barrel cannon mounted on the forward fuselage. Later specialized variants include the Mi-24RKR Hind G-1 NBC reconnaissance helicopter, Mi-24K Hind G-2 for artillery fire correction, Mi-24BMT minesweeper conversion and Mi-24PS for paramilitary use. The Mi-24VM, export designation Mi-35M, is available as a staged upgrade that includes a refurbished airframe in order to extend service life of the Mi-24 helicopters. These versions appeared in around 1998. These have an X-shaped tail rotor and dynamic systems of the Mi-28 gunship, upgraded TV3-117 VMA engines, developing two 194 shop, one 636 kilowatts each, and MFD-equipped cockpit compatible with night vision goggles, pilot's head-up display, forward-looking infrared, a nose turret carrying a GSH, 231-23mm twin-barrel cannon, Attica V anti-tank guided missiles, and compatibility with Igla V air-to-air -air missiles. At some point there was a proposal to upgrade around 200 Russian Federation Mi-24 helicopters to the Mi-24VM standard. By 2022 value of a used Mi-24 in good condition is around $12.5 million. Most of the Mi-24 helicopters were retired, but a number of these gunships are still in operational service. Various upgrade programs are available and market for upgrades remain substantial.